sitting here at the laundromat. About to go outside. Today is day four of raw foods. here and just enjoy the breeze and it's just interesting how as soon as you start eating living foods how everything just becomes so much more clear I feel a lot more energetic today and just overall it's, it's been good I did my herbs I made some really good salads, had smoothies with turmeric in it, and I feel good. It's weird because I know when I traveled before and I went to Egypt when I was leaving Yemen. Uh, some of you don't know, but I lived in Yemen for several years, and even though I loved it so much, um, and I wasn't ready to leave, war came and it was time for me to go and at first I was there studying Arabic and Islamic studies I wanted to be in a traditional environment so for a period of time I was living in a village and it was a pretty remote area and there were people from all over the world there studying authentic understanding the orthodox understanding uh, in the sciences of Islam and it was just a really pure environment. It was pure in the sense that it was in the desert. It was pure in the sense that it was away from so much of the pollution, not only physical pollution, but spiritual pollution. And so in a very short period of time, I was able to memorize Quran more than I had in the past. Uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, um, Surah Ali Imran. And there were people, of course, that in the time that I was there had memorized the whole Qur'an, but my focus was more dispersed, I would say. So, all that to say, after different health issues occurred and I ended up living in the city, in Sana'a, the capital, uh, I started working for a newspaper there called the Yemen Observer, which was a national mm -hmm. newspaper that was started and run by Fadis Senabani, who was the, you would say he was more or less the, uh, the public spokesperson for Ali Abdullah Saleh, the president at the time. So working at the newspaper, I loved it, I enjoyed it. There was a lot of opportunities to use different skills, skill sets that I had with Arabic language, of translation, with interviewing people, with meeting new people. So there was variety, but there was also that certainty. So if you want to talk about the six human needs, it definitely fulfilled. There was the, the, the aspect of contribution when I covered different issues pertaining to um, people such as the Muhammadin, who are the disenfranchised people of Yemen, descendants of slaves that were uh, there from years past, from wars that were with Ethiopia. Long story short, I was forced to leave rather quickly, and that was, uh, it was a difficult time. It was, it was definitely a difficult time. I had to pause this, and I, I kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. But I was just talking about, or I know I was talking about the difference of spiritual pollution versus physical pollution. And living in America, or being back in America, it's so different. I mean, the lifestyle, the way of thinking, the mentality, the just the overall worldview is completely, completely different. And there are different, there are definitely aspects that I miss in regards to the life that I had when I was when I was in Yemen. And now I'm getting a call. 
should I answer or should I not? Anyway, I just wanted to basically touch base with my own channel because I, I want that consistency of every day, every day expressing myself, sharing what's on my mind. Today, I came across an amazing video with Lisa Nichols and honestly, when I saw her on The Secret, I wasn't really, I wasn't that taken by her and different interviews that I had seen in the past. I wasn't that, um, how are you doing today, Belinda? Mm, she waved at me, but I think she had headphones in. Um, yeah, it's my mom's, one of my mom's co-workers. I don't know if you can see her walking down the street. <sighs> this is Jersey City. Yeah, so... I just, it's too many distractions, it's too many distractions, but Lisa Nichols was very impressive in this interview, and I got to see more of who she was and get more insight as to who she is, and it actually made me think, wow, I would like to be coached by her, but before I had never, I had never really thought of that, to be honest, I'd never really considered that in the past. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Yemen, is, I mean, America is, I'm in America, but it's full of Muslims. I mean, every, everywhere I go, I wish I could just like switch this and just walk down the street so you could see how many Muslims and how many Muslim women that are covered I pass every time I leave out my house. So this is, Jersey City is one of the most diverse it was number one in diversity in America, the most diverse city in America. So we have the highest concentration of nationalities here. I mean, there's people from Egypt and Morocco, Tunisia, Palestine, Syria, obviously Caribbean, Jamaican, Trinidadian. There's, I walk down the street, maybe I'll make a short video so you can see what I'm talking about, just in walking all of the variety that is here. And that's one of the things that I actually love about Jersey City is that it has a lot of diversity. I mean, you have people speaking Spanish, people speaking English, mm -hmm. Arabic. Um, I walk around the corner, there's an Ethiopian store, and there's my vegetables that I buy from the Korean 